here's another custom-made Christmas tree that matching a friend's Christmas tree. I pick up all the ornaments similar to what they have and did some DIYs for those ornaments that I can't find. I use a 40cm reed and make it bigger by adding a garland to make it a full 60cm reed. Watch the link above to see the detailed process on how I make a fuller wreath. The Christmas tree that I'm matching has a flock or a snow-like effect on the leaves and to match it, I bought a snow spray to cover some part of the leaves. It is very easy to use, you just have to make sure to read the instruction at the back. For this particular snow spray, I have to shake it before I spray it to the wreath. And I also follow the instruction on how far I should spray it. I spray the wreath in our garage as it can get messy. Here's how it looks after spraying the snow spray. I love how it turns out and I'm so tempted to do this in our Christmas tree as well. The next step is to cut a ribbon. I measure each ribbon 10 inches and fold it a couple of times then cut it to get 10 pieces of the same size. I did the same thing with the two ribbons. I choose a plain gray and white ribbon and a checkered ribbon with a combination of red and green. Don't forget to cut a v-shape in the end to create a fish tail. Once I cut all the ribbons, I layer three ribbons together, then pinch it in the middle, and I use a twist tie to tie it. Make sure to flop it out after you tie it. I alternate the order of the ribbon to give it a different variation. Then I use a twist tie that I use to tie the ribbon to attach it to the base of the wreath. I place the ribbon alternating in the inner and outer part of the wreath. Next, we are creating a bow ribbon. Measure your ribbon 12 inches and then fold it. Next, measure 10 inches and fold it again. Keep folding it, following the 10 inches size until you have 7 layer of ribbon. Then, measure 12 inches again on the last part of your fold. Then, you can cut it. The 2 inches extra will be the tail for our bow. After that, I fold it to find the middle part of the ribbon and cut it halfway in both sides, leaving the center uncut. Then I did the same thing for another ribbon. This time, I'll using a plain red ribbon. You will do the same process on how we did on our checkered ribbon, but this time, it will be 2 inches smaller. Then, tie both ribbons together using a twist tie. Remember to make your twist tie longer as we're also gonna use it to tie the bow in the wreath. After you secure it with twist tie, flap it out one by one to create a bow. And you'll have a double layer ribbon bow like this. And also remember to cut a V shape in the end to make a fish tail. And here is our wreath after adding the ribbon and the bow. The third step is to attach the ornament. I couldn't find the same bobble or ornament, so I made a DIY using a yarn similar to what they have. I couldn't find the same color, so I just choose the color that suits our team. Here, I'm just doing a simple crochet using a hook. If you want a more detailed instruction on how to create a crochet, I'll have another video focusing on this. So don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified. If you don't have a hook, you can also use your fingers to do a simple crochet. And keep doing the same process until you have enough length to cover your styrofoam ball or your bubbles. After you make a long crochet, I use a craft glue to stick it to the styrofoam ball. Then I wrap the crochet around the ball. Just keep adding glue along the way to secure the yarn. When you reach the end and your crochet is too long, just pull it out, then cut the yarn and lock it. Then just glue the end and you're done. It turns out that this yarn ornament is too big for a wreath, but the smaller version like this is just perfect. It's best to use a thinner yarn if you are wrapping a bigger size ball, like what I did on this white and gray. So for our thicker yarn, I just wrap it as it is so it won't be too big. To hold it in place, I use the tape underneath the ball while I'm attaching the yarn to the ball. I continue to add a glue as I wrap the yarn around. 
and did the same thing with the smaller size bubbles. The last part is to add our ornaments. I lay it down first before I attach it to make sure that I'm happy with the placement. I'll be using the ornament hook and a wire to attach all of the ornaments. Most of our decoration are soft ornaments. If it has a hole, I use an ornament hook or a twist tie to attach it to the leaves or to the base of the wreath. This doesn't have a hook, I use a wire to insert in the yarn, twist it and attach it to the wreath. I did the same thing with other soft ornament that doesn't have a hole. If the ornament is not staying in place by just using a twist tie, you can also use a craft glue to attach it. I want to position this owl in upright position, so I attach the wire at the bottom. Lastly, for the poncetcha, since I remove it from the stem, I have to wrap the twist tie around the petals, then twist it in the bottom, then I attach it to the reed. I hope you like it and if you find this helpful, please like and share this video. And if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Bye!